Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. Business doesn't fail because of a bad product. It fails because nobody knows about it. In today's world, if you don't understand English, just go to the settings of my video, then an audio track and change into the language you understand and you are good to go. So let's get started. First, I will just bring in a white color mate to my timeline uh, like here and now I will go to effects control, scale it up. Uh, first, I will bring in this question mark and then the QR code as well. So I will go here. First, I will just bring in the barcode and I will just extend it. Now, if we see this is a bit long, so I will just go in properties in the 2024 or lower version. You can just simply go here and type in crop effect and apply it to this. Go to effects control, select the crop layer and you can just simply make the QR code like this. And if you are using the 2025 version, you can simply just use properties from here. Now I will just go to effects control and simply just bring it down i will just make sure to bring them down to bit like this now i will make sure no layer is selected add a text and i will type in question mark and now i will just select it go to properties and i will make its color to black like this now i will go to facts control and i will just simply make sure to bring it to 1500 or something and now once this is done i will just make sure to select it go in properties and i will use some font other font like this will be okay this is not like the original so i will just make sure to use this as well so this will be our question mark for now i will just make sure to go here and make the opacity a bit down so the opacity will be something like this so this is our first so now what we need to do we need to animate the money so i will just bring in this dollar png to the timeline make sure it's like this now i will go to effects control simply just scale it down a bit and now i will just rotate it to something like this and for this one i will add a rotation and position keyframe and make sure it's placed at our final position to something like this one and now i will move these keyframes forward and at the start i will just make sure to bring it here and simply just make it a rotation and move it out of the frame so it will be giving us this animation i will bring the keyframes closer select both them and i will just ease in them so it will be like this to make these um, it smooth i will just make sure to select this position graph and i can just make sure make it like this so it will be giving us this animation this is a bit laggy due to premiere pro so if we move next we will just have to create these text animations so how can we do that i will just go in the premiere composer section and in the text presets i will just use in fade in characters like here and make sure to animate out uncheck animate out and this will be our text so i will make sure to go to properties and first i will just change its color to black to make sure it's visible and in the this section if we see our text business doesn't fail so i will first type in business here this is our business text and in this section i will just make it to red and go to facts and i will just type in this it something like this now i will make a copy of it like this and i will bring it down and go to properties and make sure to just mm, present now in this section i will just make sure to give it a simpler font so i will use this font make sure it's placed here and i will make it a bigger I'll go to properties and in the fill color i will make it to black so this will be our first frame mm, now we need to animate this frame for now so i will just make sure to I'll just select the dollar one go to facts control and this will be our hair i will just make sure to these layers and now if to this frame I'll make sure to select all these and simply just nest them and on the section i will add a scale keyframe move this as our final position and at the start i will just make sure to just zoom it a bit so this will be our so this will be our first animation uh, to move next we have this one so how can we create that first we will just set up the frame and then we will move forward so first i will just bring in this grid png to the timeline go to facts control and i will just scale it up now i will just make sure to just crop it because it's looking too big so i will make it 
approximately here and at the top just bring it here go to fax control and i will just scale it up this two bit more cropped so i will just make sure to it's now looking good now i will just bring in the qr code to um, like here barcode and i will place it above in the property section i will just simply make sure to scale it down first and now i will place it here and from the rough section i will just make it this so it will be approximately here and it's a bit dark so i will make the opacity back 200 so this will be our qr code now to create uh, this lines i will just make sure to uh, bring in a black color made to the timeline and now i will go to facts and i will disable the uniform scale and make it like this and simply just rotate it like here and now i will add a scale width keyframe move this as our final position and before that i will just set the anchor point to start like this so it will animate from here to here and now i will make it to zero so it will be giving us this animation i will just go in the pasty section and then we'll make it so pasty to something like this now i will just bring in the package png to the timeline go to effects control and i will place it here and make a copy of it and now i will just make sure to make it a bit small and i will just rotate it like this from here and here i will go to facts and i will search for apply the gaussian blur to this go to facts control and make it something like this now i will make a more copy of it one more and now i will just select it and i can just simply paste it here if you want you can just change the rotation of this bit like here now this is okay this will be our animation and if we see this is there a bit of rotation so i will just make sure to add some rotation to it i will add a rotation keyframe this will be our final position and at the start it will be like this so this will be here i will just make sure to ease this frame so it is like this i will just bring it forward to make the animation more like this and now for the text section the text one you can just simply use the opacity one and this product can be used as the fade animation now if we move forward from next but at the this one uh when this next sequence is ending i will just make sure to make a cut at the end and i will just add a scale keyframe here and at the moving a few frames i will just make sure to just zoom it up a bit and from here it will just move to the next frame and i will just select all these and simply just nest them and in the scale section i will add a scale keyframe and i will move this as our final position and at the start i will just make the scale a bit down something like this and i will select both keyframes ease in them like this this will be here now the next is like this this animation so how can we create that first we need to create a black background so i will just bring in a black color mate here this will be done so i will just select the pen tool and i will just make a line like this so it will be here and i will just simply make it here go to facts control and just i will place it approximately here now i will just make sure to go to facts control and i will make the opacity a bit down now to create this effect how can i will just simply make sure the graph is selected i will make a pen tool and i will make a mask like this now i will just make a copy and i will just invert it and in this lower i will just increase increase the mask feather and i will just make the opacity a bit down and now i will just select this mask and i will just make it so it will be like this i will just bring in this man png to the timeline go to facts control and simply just scale it down and place it here now i will add a scale keyframe move this as our final position at the start i will just make it down so it will be giving us this animation i will just make sure to ease in them like here and to go to facts and i will try this drop shadow and in the effects controls 
I will just make it to here and I will increase the softness for this text I will be using a text animation I will go in the template section and I will bring in this and for this one I will go to effects properties and I will just delete the two text we will just need one text and I will just make sure to scale it down and place it here I will just make the man upwards a bit like here so it will be like this now we will just type in text it fails because so we will just make sure to uh, make separate text not for every word so it fails first we will type it and make sure to go to fast control and i will place it here i will just make a copy of this and i will just make it here and in the property section i will just type in here and for this one the color will be red so i will go effects control and i will just make sure to place it here so it fails the first letter is not capital so i will just make it back to small like here and uh, i will make another copy and for this one because nobody so i will just make it here and i will type in because so this will be like this and the fill color will be white and in the effects control I, it will be like it fails because and at the last text i will just make another copy and nobody will be there so i will just make sure to bring it here properties and i will nobody this will be our text i will go to effects control simply just scale it down and place it here so we will just scale it down together at last because it doesn't look good so once this is done you can just see how this text animates so what we need to do i will just bring these lines uh, above one another so it they will animate one by one like this and you can just simply make sure at the end i will just nest them and in i will just select it and now i can just make sure to place it on the my frame and you can do the same with this one and we forgot to add the glow effect to it so i will just select the graphic and i will type in glow so we have this vr glow effect to it so i will apply this and i will apply it to the uh, other layer as well and now you can go to effects control and simply just adjust the glow settings so it will be done uh, so our next animation it's like this so how can we create that uh, i will just make sure to cut these layers for now and we will need a black background so i will just bring in the black color mat here uh, it will be like this here and now i will bring in this earth png make sure to go here and now i can just make sure to place it here it be like this now to rotate this i will just add a rotation keyframe then move a few frames and from here i will type in 2x so it will be giving us this animation you can just make sure to increase this and like this is my premiere is lagging so it's it also lagging so this will be our animation you can just simply make a copy of it and place it right here and then just scale it down i will just here and in the effect section you can also apply the blur to this one too the gaussian blur to this and go to effects control and increase the gaussian blur to something like this and you can place it here as well now to create this negative text animation how can we do that uh, i will just go in the text section and i will type in world from here and in the properties i will just make it to white first we need to select it so i will just now make it to white go to effects control and simply just make sure it's uh, on the earth now once this is done you can also change the font if you want but i don't need to so in the blend section i will go in the blend mode and i will make it to difference so this will be our text like here and that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye